I was really disappointed when the Stu and the Negro problem performance in February had to be canceled at the last minute because the Cedar Rapids airport was fogged in. Stu had been in Iowa City last fall um, meeting with various groups on and off campus and from the material he gathered and his observations he had composed a collection of songs about Iowa City and he was going to premiere them at that February performance. Um, I've only recently begun to listen to Stu's music, but I think it's great, and I was anxious to hear what he'd come up with about Iowa City. So I was really happy when I saw his name on our list of events for this upcoming season. Since the flood, you know, it's been a tough time, but Hancher has worked really hard to expand our presence in the community and across the state. And we've been bringing in artists and hosting them for longer and more intense residency, more in-depth residencies. I think it's nice when artists can spend extended time here because, you know, we get a chance to know them a little bit better and, you know, we like to think we win them over with our Iowa charm and hospitality. For the most part, I think we do a really good job of that. Stu's music is, is funny, it's so clever, um, it's emotional and it's very satirical and there will be bad words involved. Um, and I'm guessing that Stu's vision of Iowa City is going to be a, a blatant, straight-ahead view. And I'm, I also think that we're, we just might leave that performance with our eyes open a lot wider than when we go in. Um, I love Iowa, and I love Iowa City. <laughs> and I think it's great to see and hear uh, the views that our visiting artists have of our community. And, you know, they may make us cry or swoon or laugh or or cringe or maybe even get upset sometimes but i'm convinced that it's good that they make us think